Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the dining room and I have a new piece of furniture that I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace that I'm going to completely redo as well as switch up the entire room and give it a little bit of a refresh. But before we get started, I wanted to thank Sidus for sponsoring today's video. Before I get into the details of this brand new machine, something you may not know about me was I was actually a barista at a coffee shop for over seven years. It was actually the last nine to five job that I had. So I know a thing or two about coffee and machines. And so when Sidus reached out to me to review their brand new coffee machine, I was really excited to be able to show you guys this before anybody else. So the name of this machine is the 4-in-1 Instant Heating 19 Bar. This is what it looks like. So the first thing that I noticed was how small and compact it is. So this is not something that's going to take up a lot of room on your counter. This is something you could leave up all the time and not feel like you have to hide away or put away. And I also like the look of it. I feel like it's a very unique style. It looks very different than your typical coffee machine. Something else I thought was really unique was the 4-in-1 one multi-function it's compatible with all of these different types of coffee so you can use your typical ground coffee your tea it also is compatible with Nespresso capsules or their clones. And then I'm probably going to butcher this name, but Dolce Gusto, <laughs> Dolce Gusto capsule. I have never heard of those. So if you like those, it's compatible with those as well. So each one has its own extraction chamber that you will place your coffee in. And then it has these three buttons on the front for small, medium, and large drinks. The high pressure pump will extract rich, creamy, and smooth espresso without making any noise. It's very easy to install and disassemble for cleaning and the external water tank can be connected to serve as an instant hot water dispenser. Now I'm going to quickly walk you guys through the setup of the machine and then we will make a cup of coffee together. To set it up, you will insert the stand into the back of the coffee machine where the two holes are. So you will just stick it together and then slide it into place. And then you will put the water tank on the top of the machine. So to get started, you need to pour filtered water into the water tank on the top and you're going to let the machine run through one cycle before using it for your coffee. Another amazing feature on this machine is it has a three second heat up with one touch operation. So to do this, push the valve down to the locked position and hit any of the buttons on the front and the water will pour out immediately hot. Once you've done this one time, you are ready to start making coffee. So I am using their Mighty Well Espresso Ground, and this is the dark roast in the flavor hazelnut cookie cranberry. So I'm using the scooper and I'll pour it into the chamber and then flatten it with the other side. Make sure that the chamber is 100% secure, otherwise the lever will not go down. So that's like a safety feature they have. If you're running into that problem, check the chamber to make sure it's all the way in, and then the lever will easily go down. So push the lever down and then select the size you want with a small, medium, or large button. To finish your drink, you can add water or milk along with any other flavors or sweeteners to make your perfect cup. I know all of you coffee lovers will love this machine, so be sure to check the link in my description box to pick one of these machines up for yourself. Thanks again, Sidus, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so if you happen to watch my video on Monday when I uploaded about the coffee table, I kind of already explained what I was going to do for this video, but if you missed that, I found a hutch on Facebook Marketplace for only $100 and I have wanted one forever and the wall in our dining room was the only wall I could fit one on. So I moved the shelf and the hooks and all of the things over here in the corner into a different spot in my house and then I put this hutch here. So because of the size of the hutch, I did need to move my furniture around in the dining room. So the entire layout of our dining room looks completely different, but I absolutely love how it looks now. So to get started, I decided I wanted to paint this hutch a different color. The color I chose was this chalk paint from Country Chic 
and the color is driftwood. I just ordered this color off of Amazon. It was like one day shipping really fast and they have, I think over 50 colors. So I know I always talk about the Rust-Oleum because that's one you can pick up at Home Depot or Lowe's or somewhere quick. But if you can wait even just one day to paint your furniture, there are so many colors online. So I will have this one linked below. Again, this is from Amazon and I was able to get it the next day. So I am just going to give two coats to the entire hutch. I will need to seal this. That's something I haven't done yet. Chalk paint definitely needs a top coat. If you get it wet at all, it can wipe the paint right off. So you definitely want a top coat on whatever you are painting. I get asked a lot what my favorite top coat is. Honestly, whatever brand I'm using, I usually just pick up a top coat from them. I'm going to use the same company. So I will order from Country Chic on Amazon and I will just get the top coat that way. One thing I decided though, is I kind of wanted this to be two-toned. So I wanted the back to stay dark. So I'm leaving the inside of the cabinets and the back of the hutch. I'm leaving it all that dark wood. If I decide down the road, I want to change it, then I will. But I did like the look of the dark wood. I just didn't want the entire thing to be dark, if that makes sense. So for now I'm leaving it dark. And then if I decide later that I want it all the same color, or maybe I will want the back white, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it as it is and let myself decide over time. So to fill up the hutch, these are all of the things that I have picked up over time at our thrift store. Everything you're seeing here is from a thrift store. That's a lie. Besides the plants, these two plants are from Target, I believe. It's been a few months since I've had these, but I'm just going to move these into the hutch. When it comes to decorating, something that I try to do is I either stick to one or three colors. So you can see here I have white some wood tones, so that brown, and then pops of green. That way it's not too distracting to the eye. It's, it looks very calming when you look in here. It's not too crazy messy. There is a lot going on in here, but it doesn't look that way because I'm sticking to just three colors within this hutch area. Standing underneath the lights Looking to other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see
For my dining table, I'm keeping it really simple. I found this basket at our thrift store for $2. And these are some stems I picked up at Michael's recently. They were 60% off. So I believe they were $3 a stem. There wasn't really a rhyme or reason to how I assembled these in here. I just kind of squished them in and laid the stems flat. Over here in the corner, I have this stool that I also got from the thrift store. And I picked up these stems from Michael's as well. And then you might recognize this tree. This tree actually belongs in our bedroom, but I had the idea of replacing our corner shelf here with just a tree. And I do like how this looks, so I think I'm going to pick up another tree at our thrift store. I actually DIY'd this tree. I got one from the thrift store, removed all the leaves, and then I put my own leaves in. Before I show you the final reveal, I wanted to show you guys these chairs that I picked up off of Lowe's website. So I have been looking everywhere for wicker chairs for the ends of my tables. Every place I looked online was sold out. I even asked over on Instagram if people would send me links if they knew of any place that had any. And then I stumbled across these on Lowe's website and thank goodness I found them when they were on sale. They are still really inexpensive for these kind of chairs. For just one chair, I was seeing a price for between $500 to $1,000 for one single chair, which I think is ridiculous. So anyway, when I found these chairs, they were only $250 for both chairs. I got both of them half price. Right now they're $500, but they have been running sales on them, which means I paid about $125 a chair. And I cannot believe I found them for that price. So I will have them linked below in the description. But here is the final reveal of how the room turned out. I am so in love with this room. It looks like a completely different space now that we've rearranged the furniture and we have the table going in a different direction. For those wondering, this dining table is actually something I've had since I was born. So this was my family's dining table that my mom gave to me when she upgraded to a bigger table at her house. And I just sanded it down and did the same top coat that I did on our coffee table. So if you missed that video, go back and watch that and I will walk you through exactly how you you get this stain color but i love it it looks really natural especially in person i feel like on camera it does pick up more of an orange tone where it doesn't have that at all in person there are a few things though that I feel like this room needs to be complete. One of those being, I feel like we need to switch the light around. Now that we have the table going in a different direction, I feel like the light on the ceiling needs to go the other way so that it's going the same direction as the table. And I'm also on the lookout for a rug. So that's something that I feel like will really tie this room in together once I find a rug that will make this space complete. Okay guys, well that's everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not yet hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do that. I upload new videos every Monday and Thursday. So also be sure to hit the bell so you never miss another video. I also want to thank Sidus again for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check the link in my description box to pick up a machine for yourself.